Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my end of 2020 uh, haul. I did some purchases towards the end of 2020 and I was hoping I would get all the things that I ordered um, by the time I made this video, but I've been waiting and waiting on something that I ordered online and I think I got scammed. <laughs> So I'll get to that um, that part of the story later on, but first I'm going to start with the stuff that I do have here. Um, I think all this came from Ulta, and I know that I have a lot of stuff, <laughs> and I don't need anything, but these things I have been eyeing for a long time, and they were like super discounted, and so I decided to get them. It is what it is. I know I don't need it, but whatever. So the I, I bought three things, and then because I bought three things, I qualified for an Ulta goodie bag. And then, so I'm gonna share with you guys what's in here. But um, let's see, I have three eyeshadow palettes. The first one is the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. This is a, an older palette. I think maybe a couple of years, maybe even three years old. But this is what it looks like. And the colors are super, super pretty. I'm sure you guys all know what this looks like, but here you go. I am super excited to try these colors. Um, I like that this one had a few like shimmery colors and not that many um, mattes. So that's gonna be nice to play with. Maybe I'm gonna be able to use one of my all matte eyeshadow palettes in combination with this palette. It smells really good um, and I'm excited to try it. I don't know how, when I'll be able to start to use it i'm really focusing on my pan that palette right now but i really really i'm really glad that i have it because i've been wanting it for a long time and then i purchased the Too faced pumpkin spice um eyeshadow palette i have the gingerbread and then the gingerbread extra or gingerbread spicy i don't know there's two gingerbread palettes but i got both of them and that's what this guy looks like and oh i love these colors like not so much like these purpley ones, but like the rest of the colors, they're right up my alley. Really, really enjoy it. Um, it's just very aesthetically pleasing to me. Uh, and this one has more mattes than shimmery, but that's okay. That other chocolate gold has a lot of, um, what do you call it? Shimmery shades. And I know um, Heather from Love Heather Red, she returned this. Uh, because she said that she had the other ones and she felt like she didn't need it But this is more of like a collector in me wanting to have it. So I'm sure that I'll enjoy it whenever I use it and I bought another Too Faced mini palette This is a mini gingerbread spice and this is basically like a combination of the other ones But just like in mini and it's so cute Look at that and that like I love every single one of these shades every single one of them is right up my alley I love it. This is gonna be great palette to use and it's so tiny. I, I I don't know what else to say other than I love it. And that's all the makeup that I bought. So it's not a lot, but I definitely purchased things that I didn't need. And now for the stuff in the goodie bag, this was free with the purchase of that. And I'm just gonna start taking out the things um, that way you guys can see. The first two things that I have here is a shampoo and conditioner sample from Biolage. This is the Oil Renew System with soybean oil and it's the shampoo and conditioner I've used a full size uh, shampoo and conditioner from Biolash, so I know that I enjoy them. The lady that cuts my hair, or that used to cut my hair, I haven't cut my hair, gosh, since like 2019, because I didn't go in 2020 at all. Anyway, the lady that cuts my hair um, uses that shampoo, and I really love it. Then I have another shampoo and conditioner sample. This is from Kenra. This is the Platinum uh, Signature Style. Uh, oh, wait, got the wrong one out. <laughs> It's the shampoo and conditioner. And then this one right here, this is the transforming texturizing cream. So it's kind of like a, like a hair care trio type thing. So I'm excited to try it. Then another hair thing, this is the Rhythm of the Rain hair mask and scalp detox. I've used a little sample of this before and I really do enjoy it. This is something that I think I would purchase in the full size, but it, I, don't, I don't really know how much it costs, to be honest. It's just that the Christoph Robin one um, that's my favorite like scalp detox type product, but this one from Voir, Voir, it's like V-O and then an R and an I combi combined, so um, I know that I've used it before and I do like it. Then I have another sample that I've used before and this is the Purity uh, Made Simple Facial Cleanser, I love it. 
Then I have a little sample of the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. It's been a long time since I've used this, so I'm excited to try it out again and see if I love it as much as I remember liking it. Then I have this Ulta Beauty Coconut Shower Whip. It's a moisturizing cleanser. It's kind of like in a cardboard packaging. Then I have another example of the Exuvians Lift Volumizing Concentrate. I have one of these already in my skincare collection. If you guys saw that video, you guys would have seen one of these in there. So I have another one. And then this one from First Aid Beauty, this is the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. It's an okay moisturizer, I've used it before. I have a few more skincare stuff and hair care. <laughs> this is the Repair, the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. It's a little packet, I'm guessing it's for the hair. The Murad Vita C Glycolic Brightening Serum. Then the Rock Visibly, um, no, the Retinol Correction Smoothing Serum. Like little, they're the little, well, it's only one. <laughs> the little, like, those thingies, what are they called? Like the little, like, peas that you squeeze and it has the, the juice inside, the, the serum. It's one of the, just one in the little packet. Just one for the whole box, the whole cardboard thing here. That's kind of ridiculous. Then from Tony Moly, I have the Golden Pig Collagen Bounce Mask. This looks like fun. Maybe I'll save that one for my May Mask Challenge. Then I have the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. It's another cleanser. Then the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Day Cream. I've used one of these before and it's okay. Then the Peter Thomas Roth Hydrating Moisturizer. It's this one right here. Then I have these, oh wait, no. Then the Nude Sticks Lemon Aid Detox and Glow Micro Peel. That should be interesting, like the lemon peel. Then I have a Derma Doctor DDI um, Eye Radiance Cream. It's a little packet. How many come in here? Uh, it looks like three little foil packs in here, so that's nice. Pretty generous sample. And I have another hair um, shampoo and conditioner duo here. This is from Fakai, the Brilliant Gloss Shampoo and Conditioner. It's just a packet though. It's not a deluxe size like the other ones. Then I have quite a few uh, makeup samples here. Let me get all those out so that way there's some sort of order to this thing. I think this is it. Um, but I have a Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. Not a fan of that primer. Then the Becca Hydra Light Plumping Lip Balm Pack. You have like three little samples here, three different colors. I kind of like this one the most. <laughs> Me and my bright colors. I'm kind of wearing a bright lip today. Then I have uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have the Dip Brow Pomade. I've never tried this before. And it comes with four samples. And the samples aren't labeled here. So I'm hoping they're in the order that are like that this one is this one, though this one looks a little bit more, like it looks lighter than this one. Uh, honestly, these two kind of look the same to me. I feel like the only one that would match me is this one, but um, we'll see. If this one is this one, then it would be chocolate, but we'll see how that goes. And then a lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from her. Just her line doesn't really interest me, but it looks like this is full size. And that's the color right there. It looks very pretty, um, but we'll see. It doesn't really smell like anything. We'll see how that works. And then last but not least, I have a ton of perfume samples. If you guys are watching my Partners in Project Cream, no, Partners in Cream, uh, I put like all my little perfume samples that are like this in a category by themselves, just because I wanted to get over like get rid of all of them. And then in my giveaway, I had a little pack that came with like 10 of these. Like it was a give with purchase. And instead of opening it, I put it in the, in the giveaway so that I would get rid of them. And I was like, great, once I finish with the ones in my partners in cream, I'll be done. But no, I have a ton more. <laughs> I have the one from Lancome from uh, La Via Belle. Then I have one from um, CK1. Well, it's, it's Calvin Klein CK Everyone. And then I have one from Burberry in the scent Her, London, London Dream. And then I think it was a mistake because they sent me two, like an extra one of the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I, this scent is okay for me. I'm not like totally in love with it like some people are. Um, like it's an okay scent, but not something that I love. But I mean, I have two, so 
Spoilers for my partners in cream. Uh, probably when I finish those <laughs> that I have in there, I have seven, I think. I'll, I have more to add there. Um, so that's everything that I have. Going back to the part where I think I got scammed, I purchased two, or well, I thought I had purchased two pairs of running shoes from Brooks. I was going on Facebook and then I saw an ad for a Brooks end of year, like clearance sale ad thing. And the, the, the shoes were $40, like clearance out. And then said sales only left for like six hours left in the sale act now and i was like oh well, i've been wanting to buy running shoes because if you guys <laughs> follow me on my regular instagram you guys would have seen that my toenails are falling off and i know that i need new shoes when my toenails start falling off just because there's too much rubbing so i was planning on buying new shoes buying a, like a half size bigger to avoid the rubbing uh, of my toes or whatever and lo and behold I, uh, I clicked on there i found some shoes that i liked that were on my size i ordered two pairs i was like oh my gosh i'm getting two pairs of brooks shoes for 80 dollars plus tax like almost 90 dollars. i thought that was a really good deal and so i go ahead and i pay and then after i pay i get this pop-up that says um uh thank you for your paypal payment to this account, but the account is all like in Japanese or Chinese or Korean or whatever. It's just like that, those like signal uh, letters. And I was like, what on earth? And there was like no no link to go back. Or there was nothing, right? And then I, I got an email from PayPal saying that I had submitted a payment to this account, which is like all in Japanese or whatever that I don't understand. And that they won't take the money out of my account until the order has been processed or fulfilled by the person. So I was like, oh man, well, I guess, I guess that's good. You know, they're not gonna take my money. They're gonna get me something. But a few days later, I noticed that my bank account had already been charged those that money. And I have never received like a confirmation, like an invoice, nothing on email. And so I emailed that, like I clicked on that link for that, Chinese, Japanese lettering, whatever, and I sent them an email, never heard back. I went through that website again on, via Facebook. I found it and then I went on the contact us page, wrote my name, the order number, because I do have an order number, um, emailed them, haven't heard back. I made the purchase on December 28th and I have yet to hear anything. It's been almost, it's been three over three weeks. And it said there that the order would be fulfilled within 10 to 20 days. So I figure I'm like right at that window. But the fact that I haven't heard anything, I'm either, I either got scammed or I bought some fake shoes coming from China or something. Um, but either way, I'm out $90 and I have nothing to show for it. So I've been wanting to buy, like I need new running shoes, but I don't want to buy a pair because what if like this is actually legit and... It's just taking forever to come from wherever it's coming because they're fake shoes, I don't know. Uh, and then I'm like, what if I buy a pair of shoes and they're gonna be expensive and then I end up with three pairs of shoes, you know what I mean? So I'm like in a pickle right now. So, and the fact that I'm like being really strict, strict with my budget right now, um, that's why I'm kind of like deciding to hold off in buying it, you know what I mean? So. Anyway, that's my sad little story. But that's it. That's it for my haul for the end of the year. I haven't purchased anything. Uh, it's December, I mean, January 16th today. And I haven't purchased anything. So it's been 16 days of nothing. I have a lot of time left in the year. We'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm feeling strong, even though I've been tempted to. My Both my Sephora and Ulta carts are filled with stuff. Um, well, not filled, but, you know, they do have some stuff. But I'm just leaving it there and trying to make my cravings go away. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have purchased anything, don't feel guilty about it. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.